All right, I have chopped open this can and oil filter to see what build quality isn't it. Surprisingly, it's very basic in a high-end way. First off, you got your um, silicone valve, anti-drain back valve. Um, it's going to handle high heat. That's a good thing. For the top, you have a welded on wrench off nut. That's good when the oil filter loves to stick the engine block. And you have the filter media, which is glued end caps. The discoloration you see of a line that's actually from me from choppy open oil filter. So, yeah. Well, there's a nice, perfect part of the filter you can actually look at. And that white stuff is the, the paint um, from the oil filter. Metal and caps, that's a good thing. Because cardboard is not the greatest choice in the world. Um, so, yeah. Cardboard is used on framp oil filters. No joke, look it up. Um, this is a steel coil spring. I like that. Coil springs are used in nap oil filters, so that's a good thing. You have a PSI relief valve right there. What the PSI relief, the PSI relief valve does is it basically relieves oil pressure when um, there's there's a lot of oil pressure. Go to the filter. It basically says, "Okay, I have to let some unfiltered oil through to prevent oil starvation to the engine." That opens up. Unfiltered oil goes through to the engine. Um, making sure the engine doesn't fry itself out or damage itself so really it's definitely worth my, it's definitely worth the money um what the canister what's well, it's very thick I'm squeezing very hard but it's I feel it's slipping just from squeezing it it's all oily but that's a thick canister. I like that. It's official. Got a cut from the oil filter. Yeah!